friends. I thought I could make some more cookies today, so I have these um, bananas that we didn't eat, and so they're too ripe, they're too brown um, to eat normally, so I'm going to make some banana cookies, and they're going to have oatmeal and chocolate chips, and then two. I got a recipe off the internet, so we'll see how it goes. Never made them before. So we need three quarters of a cup of butter, and we want it to be soft. I pulled them out of the fridge a little while ago, but they're not quite soft enough yet, so we're going to have to microwave them for like 10 seconds. Just stick them in like that. with your finger on the button because if you microwave it too long it melts and makes a huge mess. There's ten seconds. Stop and check. Yep, that is soft enough. Okay. So now we take the butter and put it in our bowl. The red bowl. Just the way we want it. Okay, so we need half a cup of brown sugar and a quarter cup of white sugar. Here's a quarter cup and here's half a cup. Half a cup is bigger than a quarter cup. enough left in the bag to put all in. Okay. And then we have our butter and our sugar in our bowl. And we need to cream it, so take our beater. were in the freezer and then I took them out so they're very um, mushy. So we're supposed to put vanilla in it, and I thought we had vanilla, but we don't. But we do have almond extract, so we're going to try that, <laughs> see how it goes. We need one teaspoon of almond, or vanilla, but we're using almond. So, here is one teaspoon. We're going to put in our almond extract. Our bananas and our egg, and you can't see the almond in it yet. So now we need to do our dry ingredients, which is salt, cinnamon, and flour. And we got a half 
to bleh, half a teaspoon of each salt and cinnamon. Um, so we do salt first. Half a teaspoon. And I think you guys remember, maybe, but I really like cinnamon. So we're actually going to do a whole teaspoon. dry ingredients on top of all our wet ingredients so then we mix it together again. Alright, so next we do the oats and the chocolate chips. We got one cup of oats, one cup. Normally you'd probably use um, rolled oats, but my dad is our designated grocery shopper right now, and this is the kind of oats that he bought, so this is the kind of oats that we have. Still great. Um, and then we do one and a half cups of chocolate chips. We had a similar issue with chocolate chips after a very long discussion a couple of weeks ago. About the kind of chocolate chips I wanted. My dad brought back the wrong kind, so then he went out and bought me three pounds of chocolate chips. Now I have money. One cup. And then we take our half a cup. We drop some on the floor. And so to mix the oats and the chocolate chips into the dough, it's easier if I just use a spatula rather than the beater. Okay, so now that our cookie dough is ready, we're gonna oops, preheat the oven to 350. So now we take our dough and we three. Big, and we put them on the cookie sheet. It's a very sticky dough. And that one's big, and you put it on the cookie sheet. And then we just keep going till the dough's gone. So the oven's preheated and we've got a tray ready to go. So let's stick it in the oven. There they go. And then we're gonna set the timer for 10 minutes. Oops, 10. Okay. So it's been 10 minutes. So let's check, see how they look. Hmm. I think they're done. So now we have to take them off the pan and put them on a metal rack to cool. They're all done. Yay! They look pretty delicious. I think so. so bye guys. I miss you.